Time for our weekly update, folks. And I hope as we are talking about this divine reset, you are resetting things for 21, starting with your spiritual priorities. Don't put your spiritual priorities on the back burner. Boast this year, but not about your wealth or your wisdom or your, your might or your position. Boast about your pursuit of God and brag about that because that's something worth bragging about. We're going to continue this reset emphasis this Sunday because we're going to talk this Sunday about spiritually confused believers, spiritually confused Christians. We want to deal with this confusion out there that's blocking us from experiencing more of the reset God wants to have in our lives. So we're looking forward to that. And we are involved in a slow, deliberate, progressive return to church. We're testing it and planning to test it during the month of February. You'll get something uh, that gives you the instruction to choose one of the weeks in February, one of the weeks in February to come. We have a certain capacity so we can keep social distancing and masking because we're going to do this safe. Your safety is our priority, but we're going to move forward. And, and based on what we see and what's happening with the virus and all that, we will progressively move and keep you informed and, and we, we will adjust as we need to adjust because we care about you. But at the same time, I think the spirit is uh, leading us to slowly move forward. So uh, look at the information that you get emailed to you. Now, uh, this is Sanctity of Life Month, and uh, you know, we used to hand out baby bottles, can't do that right now, but if you want to support the Sanctity of Life, because we believe in life from womb to tomb, and, and dignity in between the two, uh, you can go online, OCBF Church forward slash giving, to the baby bottle uh, drive portion, and uh, make your uh, normal contribution online there. But I am so grateful that you have allowed us to do so much in our church starting with ministering to you. You know, Sunday and Wednesday, we've got, we, we're doing special programming for children and youth and serving the community. And, and uh, do we just, we just huffing and puffing. Some folks are saying, shucks, I'm working hard, harder in a pandemic than I did when, when we were coming to regular hours. So we, uh, we, we're glad of that. And uh, you'll see some new carpeting here. We fixed all the lighting and the sanctuary. And so we've been doing, doing some things. So your tithes and Thanksgiving offering has not been wasted or underutilized. And you'll see that physically, but I hope you're feeling it spiritually as we minister to you. So keep your support coming. Uh, your Thanksgiving offering now for the new year so that we can keep reducing our indebtedness and, uh, and move forward in our spiritual walk. So we are looking forward to all that God's going to do. Make sure you are there tonight at our final solemn assembly. Tonight is our final solemn assembly night. We are fasting 6 o'clock Wednesday to 6 o'clock Thursday, and we're, we're running hot after God. Uh, we, you, when you hear the intro, we're going to talk about making your prayer tonight, it's prioritizing the spiritual. Yep, the physical stuff is okay, but we want to prioritize the spiritual, okay? Hey, I love me some Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship, and I don't mean the buildings. I mean the people. We love every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, and I miss you. And that's why I um, can't wait to see as many as we can safely see as we slowly come back. Hey, God bless you, and uh, we will keep the weekly updates coming so you know what I know as we progress and move toward the future. God bless. <music>